Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a menu and it's going to start on event begin play. So first we're going to be inside of our third person map. Uh, open up your content drawer, right click, user interface, and widget blueprint. So we're going to uh, start this with bp underscore menu. You can name it anything you want, but just remember it. I like to do the nomenclature as bp before any blueprint that I create. First we need to add our canvas panel and then we're going to create a vertical box. This vertical box is going to hold the buttons in place and it's going to be our container for our, for our buttons. So that we have that relatively centered and where we like it, I'm going to make sure that it's anchored to the center truly by moving our flower anchor uh, and setting it on the right hand side in the details page right here. Once our vertical box is anchored, it is in the size that we like it. We're going to go to our left hand side in our palette and grab a button. So grab a button, just hold and drop inside of your uh, vertical box. So when you're in this, we're going to add four buttons. So you can drag and drop buttons if you want, or you can just click on the button down here in the hierarchy, control C and V, 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 and there we go. Now we have our four buttons. So our four buttons are not filled inside of this vertical box. They're just holding up, taking about like this top, um, I don't know, 25% space on the vertical box. So we can move over into the right hand side in details and we can move to size and size right now says auto and just says request as much room as needed based on the widgets desired size or we can just fill we can just fill the entire box and that's what we want so we're going to fill it now this doesn't look right this just kind of looks like um you know just a rectangle with a, a few lines through it so we're going to grab and we're going to add some padding you can do that in the same place that we did the size fill on and we're going to put this at 20 just because I think 20 looks pretty good and uniform. So now that we have our buttons, they all have uniform padding. They're filling up the vertical box. They're nested inside of the box. Now we're going to add our text. So when you want to add text and you want to snap them into the button and make sure that they're, um, they're, they're nested in the button, we're going to select the button and then we're going to grab text on the palette left hand side and just snap them in and those fall into place and we're going to do that for each button and this is going to be naturally anchored to the center because it's nested inside of the button which is nested inside of our vertical box so you know they just all kind of follow their pattern so now that we're here and we have our buttons i'm going to save and compile and like we always like to do a test we press play and of course the map is not there and that's because we have not called this onto our third person map level blueprint. So let's go back. So let's go back to your third person map or first person down in the uh, little branch icon. And we're going to open up our level blueprint. We're going to delete that real quick. And we're gonna, going to say event begin play. This is just our basic beginner node. Create widget. Our widget is going to be BP. And so when I, nomenclature is important because I have BP underscore and that's how I know, okay, these are all blueprints. So I'm not having to remember, you know, what I named everything. I can just move to it. So make sure like when you name things, uh, they stay organized. So BP menu and then return value. What are we doing? We're going to add it to the viewport. Very explanatory. Now, just a quick tip again. If you want to organize, just uh, capture over, press Q and there we go. You can move them around and they'll stay nice and organized. Another quick tip is if you want to comment on top of what it does, you can cast over and press C. C for comment. 
and then you could add a comment and here you could say menu shows on event play in scene and you know it can be just like that also with these we can change the color and sometimes i like doing this when i already have comments inside of my blueprints and i know what color is mine i tend to comment with uh with a lavender background so that's it's going to be helpful when you have uh really uh, complex event graphs and you can kind of see like what work is yours and kind of helps you keep track so okay let's go ahead and press play and here we are we have our text block now that we have our menu set right here we can change our hover color so let's go do that real quick because gray is really boring and we're going to select our boxes We're going to select all of our buttons, I'm sorry, not boxes, and we're going to move over to appearance, hovered, go into our tint, and we're going to change the color. And we're going to make the color like this lavender. And this should apply to all of the buttons that we have here. So we're going to compile, save, play, and there we go. How easy is that? Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.